I'm here with Dr. Romano to do an extraction problem. Hi, I'm Dr. Romano. I'm professor of organic chemistry here at Romano Scientific and the creator of the Orgo Man products and the author of the Dat Destroyer book. One of the main questions that I always seem to get is questions on extraction from students. An extraction is basically a technique that we use in organic chemistry to isolate and separate a compound from a mixture. And what we're going to do is we're going to be using some properties and principles of acid-base chemistry. So come along and let's have a look at what I have for you, and I'll go through some nice examples. Um, what we have, have here is we have four compounds that are going to be placed in either ether or, in this case, dichloromethane. Let's go over them. We have benzoic acid. We have paramethylphenol. We have aniline, and here we have benzene. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first treat the mixture with sodium bicarbonate, aqueous. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm, that's gonna cause me to have two layers. What it's gonna do, it's gonna react with the acid. So you're gonna remember sodium bicarbonate takes out the acid and makes what we call the carboxylate salt. So this would be called sodium benzoate. So in your separatory funnel, which is what the device is called when you do an extraction, we're going to have two layers. We're going to have an aqueous layer, which will be the sodium benzoate, and the organic layer with the three remaining compounds. And then I would separate the layers. If you remember, the more dense um, compound would be on the bottom layer. The less dense would be at the top. After you separated the layers, you go to the aqueous layer, you acidify it, and then you would regenerate back your benzoic acid, separate and recrystallize. All right, so you've now isolated the benzoic acid from the mixture. Now we have three left. We have the paramethylphenol, the aniline, and we have the benzene. The next move I'm gonna do is to use NaOH. Now, NaOH would be used to extract a phenol. Now, when the phenol reacts with aqueous NaOH, it's going to separate it into two layers. Once again, we get the phenoxide salt in the aqueous layer, and we get the two remaining compounds in the organic layer. That's the aniline and the benzene. To, again, you separate it out in the funnel into the aqueous layer. You would add acid and then you would get back your paramethylphenol extracted and then finally just distill it off and we would have this separated. Now there's two layers left. There's two compounds left. We're gonna treat this with HCl. Now HCl would be used to separate an amine. Why? I drill this into my students' brains. Amines are bases. Because they're bases, they're gonna react with the acid the aqueous acid go into the aqueous layer as the alkyl ammonium salt. And then as you can see, once we get the alkyl ammonium salt, we add base to it and that generates back the aniline extract into the dimethyl chloro, dichloromethane, sorry, and distill it. All right, once we got that, our final compound is benzene. And all we would do is simply um, isolate this, we can evaporate off the ether and then isolate the benzene by itself. So as you can see, we got four compounds and we were able to separate each one. So just to quickly review again, the sodium bicarbonate used to separate the acids, sodium hydroxide separates the phenols, the acid would be used to separate out the amine. All right, let's go to the board and let's try um, one final question, just to see how well I taught you on this. I'm gonna give you four compounds. I'm gonna give you a secondary amine, benzene, a carboxy acid, and a phenol. And it says that treatment with sodium bicarbonate brings blank into the aqueous phase as blank. Well, the sodium bicarbonate will bring compound number three into the aqueous phase, and it will bring it into the aqueous phase as the carboxylate salt, which would look like that. All right, that one's pretty easy. Next, we're gonna treat with NaOH, 
treatment with NaOH brings blank into the aqueous phases blank. Well, the NaOH is going to react with number four, and that'll bring it in as the sodium phenoxide, like this. And that would be, the, these are all the aqueous layer. And finally, treatment with HCl brings blank into the aqueous phases. What? Well, the HCl would react with number one, that's the amine, and then it'll bring it in as the, ammon the, the dialkyl ammonium salt. And that would be in the aqueous phase. I hope this gives you a good idea of how to do the principles of extraction. If you're still confused up on this, any standard organic textbook can give you more information. If you understand this, I think this will be good enough for the DAT, and you can check out the few que a few questions that I wrote up in the Death Destroyer book. All right, I hope this really gives you an understanding of this very, very important technique that we use on a routine basis in classical organic chemistry lab. Okay, bye-bye.